what is up guys mega man here with another pickups video for the month of may before i get started with all the pickups i uh, just want to clarify from the last video that i put out about the big nes bundle uh, I did message the lady. She said that she thought she had 50 games, but it ended up just being 39, and that was actually what was in the picture. I guess I didn't realize that. Um, she said she would look through more boxes if she finds any more, and she'll let me know. So just wanted to clarify on that, but I've got a lot of stuff to show you guys, so let's just jump right into it. Uh First things, I got a few games from Limited Run. Uh, they finally came in. I have these games, you guys know, if you order from Limited Run, it just takes forever for them to fulfill their orders. <laughs> but these both came the same week, which is kind of surprising. But we got Angry, Angry Video Game Nerd 1 and 2 Deluxe. This actually came out, uh, I think you could download it digitally before on your Switch or whatever, but... I always like having a physical copy. I haven't opened it yet. And then the other game I got was Axiom Verge 1 and Axiom Verge 2. Uh, Axiom Verge is a really, really good game. It's like, plays just like Metroid, basically. It's Metroid, uh, just a different storyline, and it's like 8-bit version. I'm curious to see what the second one's like. And then also came with a little limited run card they always send these cards out however i didn't get one with the angry video game one which is kind of weird but anyway okay this next pickup i don't remember i have so much stuff guys i can't really remember all the damn prices i paid i believe these were ten dollars each on facebook marketplace if i'm not mistaken i i just can't recall where i got these at um but I believe I didn't pay more than $10, but they had Resident Evil Outbreak for P PlayStation 2. I've not played the these Outbreak games, so curious to see that. And then this one, which has gone way up in value, is Resident Evil Dead Aim. Never played this either. Uh, they were both complete. Um, like I said, I think they were $10 each. I think. <laughs> I don't know. Um... I actually got some Goodwill pickups and a Salvation Army pickup as well. Um, this was just in the Wii games, and this one has actually gone up in value. Uh, I don't have this. I don't know if I'll keep it. Probably not. But there's so many of these Wii games. There's Wii. This is Wii Play Motion. I think I paid. Yeah, I paid four bucks. I think it's like twenty dollar game around there. So that was cool. Uh, and then at the other Goodwill, walked around, didn't find anything, and I was about to walk out, and then you can hear the employees wheeling carts out, and this was sitting right on top. Snoopy's Grand Adventure, but it's not just the game, it's just the game, but it's factory sealed. So brand new. Uh, I did ask if they had any more games in the back, and the lady didn't really know, so... <laughs> And then another sealed game I found at Salvation Army. I think I paid about six bucks plus uh, tax or whatever. But uh, Wolf, the Wolf Among Us on the Xbox One, and it's still brand new. So that was, I mean, two sealed games at a Goodwill and a Salvation Army. I mean, that's that's awesome, right? Uh, this next pickup was a Facebook Marketplace pickup. Lady posted a Vita memory card, never opened. So, and she only wanted like, I think 10 bucks or something or five bucks. She wanted it gone. So then I must, I asked her if she had like the system or games. And she said she had to ask her boyfriend because it was her boyfriend's. Turns out he had a system and some games. Um, I had to pay up a little bit. I think I paid 120 bucks, but still not a bad deal, but we got the 8 gig memory card for the Vita, brand new, never opened. These are like, you never find these anymore. I mean, there's just, anything Vita really is kind of just scarce. But he did have a Vita, I don't remember which one this is. It's like the Slim 
I think. I don't I don't know. I'm not good with uh identifying the different versions of the Vita here. It says oh it says Wi I think Wi-Fi version. I think that's what it is, but it's in the box, it's in really nice shape. It comes with the little silicone case around it, so that's fun. I mean that's pretty cool. That's fun. <laughs> Uh, I'm not gonna came with the power cord and everything. I'm not gonna show all that uh, and then just a stack of games you nothing too crazy, but we got little deviants FIFA soccer MLB 12 the show and then the best one in a lot was Assassin's Creed 3 liberation, so like I said, I think it was hundred and twenty bucks, which is not bad for Especially for Vita stuff nowadays. Alright. Now we're going to get to the garage sales. Uh, garage sales, like I said, have just been crazy lately. I um, don't know why. Oh wait, I got to show you guys something else before we jump into the garage sale pickups. But garage sales have just been insane. Like I was kind of surprised at how much stuff I found at the garage sales. But... Uh, let me just show these real quick because I forgot about them. My local game store had these. And uh, I kind of I wanted these games on the Vita. More Vita games, which is crazy. Um, they were priced reasonably, but these are actually fun games to play. But we got Muramasa, Muramasa, however you want to say that. It's like a... I forget. It's like a... TJ knows what this is. It's kind of like a hack and slash, I guess. I don't know. I, it's a lot of fun. And then I really like this series, and I wanted to get this game on the Wii. Or the Wii. Uh, it's on the Wii. It's on the DS. Um, it's kind of like Shantae a little bit, I think. Uh, this is still sealed. I don't know if I'm going to open it. I probably will open it if I'm going to play it. But we got Shiren, the Wanderer, the Tower of fortune and the dice of fate so yeah still sealed i think it was like 60 bucks but and then this one which is a shoot 'em up i wouldn't have known this is a shoot 'em up if uh tj didn't tell me but uh we got heavenly guardian heaven heavenly guardian can't talk right now but complete i was just like 20 bucks which is about what it goes for but it's a Nice little shoot 'em up, so you could add that. Um, and then I found a game at GameStop, uh, which is crazy. I always go to GameStop and look in there. Like, they have a smaller now retro section where it's just like Wii, Wii U, PS3, and Xbox 360, and Wii games. Because they don't sell those anymore. I mean, you know, re like, they don't get new copies of those games in anymore, obviously, but... Uh, I was shocked to kind of see this still on the shelf. Um, Spider, The Amazing Spider-Man for PS3. Uh, a lot of these Spider-Man games have spiked in price because of the movie that came out recently. Uh, I had a $5 coupon, so this was like $15 bucks with plus tax, but that is a, that's a fantastic deal for this game. This game, I think, goes for around $50, bucks, which is crazy. All right. Uh, one last thing, I went to a, like, flea market, outdoor, giant, Pecaton. it was in Pecatonica, which is about, I don't know, 25 minutes from here. It's like a big outdoor flea market, um, walked around there for a long time, did not find anything. There was a guy selling video games, vendor, and he pretty much knew what he had, but I caught him slipping, guys. <laughs> so, I got a complete copy of si uh, Sonic the Hedgehog on the Genesis. And you're probably thinking, how did I catch him slipping? This was $10, but um, thanks again to TJ. <laughs> uh, a lot of times when you find this game, it's always the not-for-resale version. Um, this is the more uncommon version to find, where it says not-for-resale. On the label, it'll say it on the label, it'll say it on the box here. This is a Sega Classics edition too, I don't know if that has anything to do with it. But uh, this actually goes for more than $10, so that was the only like 
cartridge game he had. He had a couple Nintendo games, but they were all sports and they were overpriced. But yeah, be on the lookout. If you guys see Sonic the Hedgehog and it's the not for resale version and it's a decent price, pick it up. All right, now garage sales. So where do I start anyway? Um, so let's start with the big main one, I guess. So there was a huge community sale um going on it was like i don't know how many houses 80 plus houses um you know i was bound to find something i would think but competition is always out so but anyway there was a they had a list of houses and they had a, like what they would have and this one house listed they had video games and i was thinking to myself i'm not even gonna bother because if someone lists that, you know, there's going to be people there lined up. But so I got drove out there like 45 minutes early. They were still setting up. So I drove around the block a little bit and then came back. And surprisingly, I was the first one. Um, and really, there wasn't really anybody else around, which kind of surprised me more than anything. Um but I was talking to the guy, and I guess he went to the Midwest Gaming Classic, so we started talking, and I figured, oh, he probably knows what game his games go for. But he said he was just trying to unload a bunch of just stuff he didn't want anymore. So I believe these were all five bucks a piece, I want to say. Don't quote me on that. I, this was like very beginning of May, so I don't really remember too much. Um, but I basically took the good stuff. He had a bunch of, you know, common shovelware stuff, but I'll just go ahead and show you guys what I got. So I got Super Smash Brothers Brawl for the Wii. Uh, this is nice. A complete copy of Wii Sports. Whenever you see Wii Sports, pick it up because it still goes for a decent amount. Uh, this was, I think, an uncommon Super Nintendo game. But I wasn't too sure, but I took a gamble on it. Super Base is loaded 3. It is uncommon, licensed to steal, but I don't think it goes for too much. And then I figured, oop, uh, Bomberman, Pocket Bomberman. I don't see this game too often, so I just decided to take a stab on that. So, yeah, I think I paid 20 bucks. So 20 bucks for those four games is amazing. Um, and then we... I went to a sale up the street and this guy had a bunch of movies and Blu-rays and he had some good stuff and I bought some movies and Blu-rays first. I'll go ahead and show these real quick before I get to the other part. But these, these, uh, I, I, these, um, yeah, Studio Ghibli movies are actually really good if you guys haven't seen them. I've not seen Ponyo, and I have not seen Whisper of the Heart, both on Blu-ray. These were $2 each, and then these were $3 each, and this is what blows my mind. I mean, I got I have a lot of watching ahead of me to do, and I don't know when I'm going to do it, but he had the Clone Wars series. There's Season 1, Season 2, Season 3, Season 4... Season 5, and then The Lost Missions. I don't even know. I've never seen any of these. Uh, I like Star Wars, and I've wanted to watch this series. These are all on Blu-ray. Um, but the guy was telling me it's a long series. And I believe the new Obi-Wan that just came out, it ties in. Or Obi-Wan, yeah. Obi-Wan, it kind of ties into the Clone Wars a little bit. At least some of the story does. So, But 3 bucks each, I mean, the complete... Is there a season missing? Do you guys know? I mean, did I get the whole set? The guy told me it was the whole set, but I'm not 100% sure. So then I asked him if he had video games, and he kind of, you know, said, yeah, I do. He said, I'm a huge Zelda fan, so we started talking about that. And I got really excited, but he wasn't going to get rid of any Zelda games, which kind of made me sad. He said he had 
both those Zelda games for the CDI, which go for crazy amounts of money. Um, so then I asked him if he had, you know, just other games. He said, what are you looking for? So I just started listing off. And then once I got to GameCube, he said, yeah, I got some GameCube games. I, I was like, he has all the Zelda GameCube games, but he's not parting with them. I said, well, if there's any games you don't want, you know, I'll buy, I, I'll buy them off here, make you an offer. So he brought us, he brought four games out and... He said five bucks a piece. So, I mean, I can't go wrong with what's in the stack here. So, first we got Star Wars Rogue Leader, Rogue Squadron 2. And these are all complete and they're all in really nice shape. We got the original Resident Evil. Well, the remake, kind of. Uh, Wave Race Blue Storm, which I'm happy to try this out. I'm probably going to keep this. And then the big one was Metroid. Metroid Prime for five bucks complete. I mean, that's just, I was just, I mean, I, after I left, I was just happy and ecstatic. I mean, so, and then the, that part, last part started walking around, didn't find anything, nothing, nothing. I knew there was people out looking for games. I actually ran into a reseller that I'd know and, um, so I knew the competition was out there, which I'm sure there's some stuff I missed. But uh, then I at one other house, I found this was just sitting on the table. Uh, we got Xavius for the 7800. No price on it. I asked what she wanted. She said a dollar. So I just gave her a dollar. So that's that. So that was one sale. <laughs> um Another garage sale, just a random garage sale. I'm knocking stuff over. Just another random garage sale. I was just driving around and went to a house. Um, saw they had some games, well, just nothing, just Wii common games. This was a dollar. You guys are probably thinking, why did I pick up Just Dance 4? Because I had a copy of Wii Sports in it. <laughs> so... That's another tip I have always, guys. If you're out garage sailing and you see just a stack of garbage, basically, garbage we like shovelware titles, go through the cases because you never know what might be inside. It might not be the right game. And it could be a game that's, you know, decent. So, yeah, I got that for a dollar. Buy that for a dollar. <laughs> okay, and then this was listed on Facebook as a garage sale and I messaged the guy and he was closed already it was like at three o'clock and I was like that's crazy um messaged the guy he said he was gonna reopen tomorrow morning uh, I asked if he would hold it for me he's he didn't really want to hold it but I told him I would come right away in the morning which I did so they ended up hold, putting it aside for me but um so yeah, um, so I showed up to the sale a little bit earlier. Uh, they were still kind of setting up, but they weren't. They were really nice about it. it turns out the guy um, I bought this from, uh, it works at my job, so it's kind of crazy how that works out. So he started talking about work and everything, but um, he had seventy five on this, which is that's a good price in my opinion. Um, but what we got is a oh jeez these are bulky a wii u Oop. wii u and then we got the control pad there i am <laughs> um then I only, he only had two games he had super smash bros wii u and mario kart 8 but this was the reason why i picked this up for 75 guys so we got a black Wii remote with the uh, Wii Motion Plus in it, and then these. If you ever see these, got if you ever see these in the wild, pick them up because they're decently. They have a lot of decent value to them. But we've got the Princess Peach Wii controller, the Luigi Wii controller, and the Mario Wii controller. And I believe I have the toad one there's a bowser one and i think or no i have the yoshi one there's a yoshi one toad bowser i 
think that's it. I'm not 100% sure, but I think those are the ones that they have. And I mean, they go for like 30 bucks a piece, depending on which one it is. I think the Bowser one and the Toad one are a little more uncommon to find. So I think those go for a little more. So, all right, where are we at? 20 minutes, okay. This is why, guys, I did not put that other part. I made a separate video for the NES because it was going to be, a, I knew this video was going to be long. So, bear with me. We are almost through, done with everything, just about. <laughs> so then I went to another community sale. Um, this was like, oh, 30 minutes from my house. Uh over like 50 houses um again i didn't think i would find anything but guys i found stuff and it's just it's crazy um so this this guy had some video games and he had them priced pretty high i took a shot at this game and i kind of overpaid for it i know this game was going for decent value um a while back but it not so much anymore but we got scarface the world is yours and it doesn't have the manual which i was kind of bummed about but he wanted 20 bucks so i paid him 20 bucks i thought i would i thought this was like a 50 dollars game but i was wrong so that was not a good start to the day um but then i got to another sale and they didn't have any video games but they had a bunch of like figures and toys and they had this one, which is a, it's Final Fantasy Play Arts. And I know the Play Arts figures are worth some decent money. Um, they go for pretty much, uh, they go for some really good money, depending on if you have the packaging and everything. Um, I paid seven bucks for this, uh, seven dollars. And I looked this, this up and just the figure alone goes for 50 just by itself without the box or anything but we've got i don't know if i'm gonna be able to fit this in this is um it's black label says right there collectibles uh oh my gosh i can never the name of this the name of this mage what's the name of this mage guys is it evie no is it is it evie does it say it doesn't say that's kind of weird. I don't know. It's all in like Japanese on the back too. But so anyway, <laughs> I think this is Eevee. I think that's the name of it. Um, The only downside to this is the cane. I don't know if you guys can see that. The staff is broken. It was broken in two, which kind of stinks. So they did play with this figure, but the figure itself looks amazing. And I've seen this sell for like a hundred bucks. So I mean to get it for seven dollars, that's crazy. I really can't fit this in the shot. Like the whole thing, but yeah. Anyway, so that was awesome. Um and then this it just blows my mind, guys. So I we were I was just driving around and then I'd stop at Lorenum sales and there was like two sales in a row, so I just parked the car and Walked up to this sale and they had like two tables set up. And this was sitting, this was just sitting right on the table. And I picked it up and it was sealed. And I'm like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me right now? Um, but anyway, asked the guy what he wanted it for. He didn't really know. He's like, I haven't looked up prices. I don't know what it goes for. So I just threw an offer out there. I said 20 bucks and he took it. Um but i didn't think this was worth the whole lot because it's a sports game bases loaded two second season but guys it's never been opened it's brand new um it does have some condition issues with like the corners where did i see that at yeah, this top corner is kind of smashed in a little bit but i mean overall it's amazing like a sealed Nintendo game just sitting on the table. And I asked if he had any more and he said no. He said they were emptying out his grandma's uh, attic, I think, and this was in there. And I'm like, you sure there's nothing else in there? And he's like, I'm pretty sure there's nothing else. But 
brand new Nintendo game never been opened. I mean, that just that just blew my mind when I saw that. And then what's crazy is I paid 20 bucks and I figured this was might be worth 50. The last one sold for like 300, guys. I mean, just that's that's crazy. As I'm looking at this now, though, I kind of see there's a small hole right here, which kind of kind of a bummer. But yeah, twenty dollars for that, uh, in insane. And then the very last thing. No, this is not the last thing. I apologize. We're already at twenty five minutes. I apologize, guys. Um, this was a totally different community sale uh i was driving around and i came up to a sale and there was a guy wearing an n64 shirt and i was kind of sure enough he had a pile of games he was holding and they were a dollar a piece and there was like mortal kombat trilogy i mean he had some really good stuff so i was super bummed about that so my tip for that is if you see competition i go to like the other side of the sale if it's a community sale i go to the other side of the neighborhood and i lucked out i was kind of surprised that i found something i was i went to probably six or seven sales and i couldn't find anything and i figured that guy cleared out everything but walked up to another sale and it was a bunch of girl stuff and they had a basket with games in it three dollars a piece and it was like sports games blah, but they had this game and i looked through it twice and i'm glad i did because i probably would have missed this but they had this playstation game if you guys don't know what game this is this is diablo on the playstation one which goes for like 50 60 bucks loose so yeah they had sports games and wii games and just kid games girl games but this was in the stack of games and it was only three dollars so i was actually super surprised to see that so another amazing score and then the last score it's a lot of stuff guys so i have to kind of oh jeez louise so this sale guy listed he had video games and I had asked what it was closed for the night, said they didn't sell. I said if he could send me some pictures of what he's got. And he did that and heh, paid off. So I'm just going to go ahead and show. So I haven't taken this off yet, but we got PS2 with the games and the cords. This is a fat classic PS2 for $20. This includes the games and everything. I'll show the games in a minute. That came with two controllers i think this is a ps1 controller to be honest it is dirty i need to clean it up and then we have oh jeez these things are so heavy a working og brick xbox with games and cords for 30 bucks so that came with games as well so we're at 50 right now and then he just had this random bag which i didn't know was anything but it has ten dollars on here and it's a game boy advance a uh, glacier no back but it came with sonic advance 3 so can't complain there ten bucks so i paid 60 bucks and you guys are probably like 60 dollars really i would not pay 60 dollars for that but the reason was, oh, let me show these real quick. Came with like a off-brand blue Xbox controller and it came with a Duke, an OG Duke controller, which I thought was pretty cool. So now the games, guys. So let's start with PS2. Now there's nothing too crazy in PS2. It's the Xbox games, at least one of them. But we got SXS. S, S, X, I can't talk. Greatest Hits. These are all complete, by the way. Lord of the Rings, Two Towers. Kingdom Hearts. Simpsons Road Rage. I guess that's a decent one. Jack and Daxter. 
Mad Maestro. I have no idea what that is. I'll have to play. This is a. These last two are decent. Got Ratchet and Clank going command. Going commando. Yeah, going commando. And Echo the Dolphin, Defender of the Future. I've never really seen an Echo game on PlayStation Two. So that was all included in the sixty bucks. Or yeah, sixty bucks. But then this is what made made it worth it, guys. So here's the Xbox games. NBA Live 06, nothing special about that. Uh, Hummer Badlands, nothing too crazy about that. Uh, Shrek 2 Shark Tale Double Pack, that actually might be the, well, it says $6.99, I don't know. <laughs> uh, NBA Jam, which I wasn't, I didn't realize NBA Jam was on the Xbox. But then the last game, the best game out of the bundle. No manual, sadly, but Def Jam Fight for New York on the original Xbox. So all of that was 60 bucks, guys. I mean, just crazy. Um, I did pick up some other stuff from them as well. Um, not gaming related. They had a bunch of vintage old Pokemon uh card game boxes just empty boxes and those go for some decent money i'm not going to show them on here because i'm not you know this is more this is just gaming it's not I'm not going to show pokemon unless you guys want to see pokemon stuff let me know um but i paid like 100 bucks for those boxes and i could make probably 400 bucks on them which is which is insane it's insane and they had a binder full of cards old vintage cards they just sadly didn't want to part with them yet they had to talk to their son first so they're supposed to get back to me and we're gonna probably work out a price for that so but that is it guys 30 minutes not bad a little over 30 minutes i appreciate you guys watching staying through the video and until next time take care